Good morning and thanks for joining us for this week's Eagle Eye. I'm Nick Peterson. And I'm Britton Thompson. Today on our show, we'll gear up for the break with the holidays and some, focus on some stories that are giving back. So Nick, do you have any big plans over break? No, just hanging with the family and getting some extra hours at work. Which is also what our Eagle athletes will be doing, it seems. Many teams will be practicing over break. Let's go to Cecilia with the Eagle Sport Report. Hey Eagle Sports fans, I'm Cecilia Liu with this week's Eagle Sport Report. This week in Eagle Athletics, we have our wrestlers dominating the competition, the dance team kicking their way to the top, and the cheerleaders soaring to new heights at their competitions. Eagle wrestlers just had a big win at their Christmas tournament in Rochester. The Eagles finished with almost 100 points more than their second place team, Simley. But break won't be a break for our AV wrestlers. Uh, winter break, we practice every day except for Christmas. Our goals for the rest of the season are to go undefeated and go on our three-peat for the national championship. Our aviators just competed in the South Suburban Conference at Eagan, finishing third in kick and had jazz funk performance earning them fourth place in honors. The team is already making postseason plans. We plan to make it to state in kick and jazz. We have practice almost every day and we're just going to be working on our new dance. Apple Valley High School is packed on Sunday with the cheerleading annual Beach Bash. The AV girls had a strong show in bringing home first place in stunt group category, but their season is far from over. Um, after winter break is like the heat of our season, that's where we have all the big competitions like state, we have our nationals in Minneapolis, and we have um, all of America at conference, so those are the biggest competitions and they're all coming up in the same month. That's all for this week's Sport Report. Now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Cecilia. It sounds like Eagle athletes won't be taking a break from keeping up their competitive edge. While Eagle sports teams are giving it their all, many clubs and organizations are doing what they can to give their all as well. Here's Mallory with more about how people are giving back to the community. They say it's better to give than to receive. Every year during the holidays, organizations like Salvation Army have created a way to give back to the community and to people who are in need of help. AVRM has found a new way to give back to the community by putting on a clothes drive this year. This event started on December 15th and goes through today, so bring in any new or used clothes into the main office to help people cope with the weather this winter. NHS recently had a food drive. All the items that were donated went to the HTM food shelf in Savage. They're also having their annual Shoes for Hope box in the main office. Make sure you're a part of this too. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Mallory Mahalik. Thanks, Mallory. There's still time to find a way to give. That's right. Student Council is campaigning to help one AVHS student's family who lost their home to a fire a few weeks ago. Make your donation to help during all lunches today. One family has been giving drivers on Cedar Avenue a gift for their eyes for many years. We wanted to find out a little more about the huge tree covered in lights that can be seen as you drive towards the Mall of America. Here's Paul with the story. Our students are working hard to share the holiday spirit in our classrooms. However, the holiday spirit of Bob and Julie Little of Bloomington can be seen for miles. They are the owners of a 150-year-old white oak tree that is easily visible from Cedar Ave. I have 39,760 LED bulbs on the tree. Every day, a minimum of 50,000 people drive past the tree, with hundreds stopping to take a look. On the weekend, probably between five to 600 people a day. I took my family out here to look at this tree that we could see from Cedar Avenue. And this tree is just like a magic tree. It's mystical. So magical, in fact, it has become a tree for special occasions. I had a sailor come over one night and said, excuse me, sir, but I'm home on leave. May I come tomorrow night and propose to my girlfriend before I go back overseas. And that's really special. 
Bob and Julie have been lighting their tree up since 2001. They start on Thanksgiving and keep it running until New Year's Day. Last year, the new LED lights used to cover the tree cost them $10,000. There are no blow-up Santa Clauses in the yard. There's not a red thing going one way or a green thing going another way. It's the tree, it's 40,000 lights, and it's our Christmas card to the world. So if you find yourself heading north over your break, know that Mr. and Mrs. Little are big on holiday spirit. I'm Paul Hirschkin reporting for Eagle Eye. Thanks, Paul. That's just another great reason to head to the mall. Have you got all your shopping done? No, I still have to come up with a good idea for a gift. Don't worry. Here's Ian with some advice on present do's and don'ts for that special someone in your life. Hey, Apple Valley. I'm Ian McKeg, and I'm here to help you with the holiday cheer. During the holiday season, there's quite a bit of gift giving going on, and we here at Eagle Eye realize that many of you are bad present prone. So, we're here to help you in picking out a gift for your significant other. We've spotted a gift exchange about to happen. Let's see how this unfolds. Oof, poor choice, Sam. Giving your girlfriend a video game for the holiday season is a surefire way to get a game over for your relationship. We spotted a gift exchange about to occur. Let's see what happens. The only good thing about that sweater is how warm it looks, but it is a surefire way to drain the warmth from your relationship. Hopefully you've learned a little bit from our do's and don'ts. Let's take a look at our final couple. Looks like he knows what he's doing. Fragrance and jewelry is a great way to polish up that relationship. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Ian. I guess my mom probably won't appreciate the new video games I got her either, right? I don't think so. That's all right. Maybe Santa will bring her something. Maybe. Here's this week's Valley View. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list. He's checking it twice. Gonna find out who's not your nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. Ho, 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 ho. I knew Mr. Glaze looked familiar. He's like the Santa of math help. Well, that's all for today. We leave you with the Apple Valley Choir Sounds of the Season. Have a fun and safe break.